All right, so here we're going to make a 3D birdhouse. Um, and for those of you that have started off with the tutorials, you'll know what we're about to do, which is just use the creating tool to make a basic cube using the template and just rotating around, lining it up as we go, drawing to the bump stops, and just creating that basic starting point for most regular shaped objects. So we're just going to join these last two lines up. and then create the downline for our cube. Now, the next bit, we're going to use the ruler on the creating tool. So as we finish this one, we're going to turn the tool around now and just use the scale along one edge while lining it up as well. So we can see where two centimeters is, which gives us the center. And we're going to mark above the center point. So we're effectively marking the start of what will be a triangle for the roof of our birdhouse. So you're going to do this front and back, making a mark of where two centimeters along and four centimeters up is on the bird house. Now from here, again, we're just going to join these dots up. So we'll use the rule to make it quick and easy. Straight to the bump stop. Got a bit over there, but never mind. Um, and now we're going to use the rule to effectively join the dots, but we're going to go slightly over to make a kind of overhanging style roof. So in this case, we're going to go to 60 millimeters. Now this may take a bit of measuring beforehand, but on the other side, we're going to go to 40. You could do this by just ruling a line across in the first place as such. So same again, we're going to go from the top across the bottom corner of our roof to 60 millimeters, And you can start to see the birdhouse emerging now. So we're going to join these dots up, or lines rather. OK. Just a little bit of detail there to show that the roof going behind. Now the next step is to add the hole to the bird box. Now we're going to use the ellipse template, which again we use by just lining up the bounding box with the face on the drawing so that they line up with each other. And there you've got the 3D bird box. So the next couple of things to do are just to rub out those construction lines, which will speed up for you. Give it a splash of colour and there's your perfect 3D bird box.